Hello guys, welcome back to Tech Projects. I am back with another video. So in this video, we are going to see how to create Recycler View in Jetpack Compose. So we are going to see a complete implementation of Recycler View in a very easy way. So watch the video till end. So if you don't know what is Recycler View, so let me show a demo and also explain what is Recycler View and how it is working Compose. So for this, I have to open my phone screen. So I open my phone screen and hey, here you can see we are going to create this project recycler view compose so here you can see recycler view what is recycler view recycler view is a basically list of a similar items so here you can see we have a multiple items here and we can scroll here and you can create your own design i just take a simple text view here but you can create your own design according to your own need my main motive to teach you how to create recycler view in a very easy way in compose so we are going to create this so don't further delay now let's start the video so if you don't subscribe the channel till now then please subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button and also if you don't like the video till now then please like the video so now let's start the video so for this first of all open your render studio and after opening just click on new file new new project and just select here mtm compose activity click on next you can give any name to your project i just give you a recycler view compose tutorial click on finish so it is going to create a new project so our project is building so let's wait for a gradle build <clears throat> so one more thing if your project is not building so may, you may face some errors so it is due to the cons compose table version or and due to the android studio version so make sure your android studio is latest updated so if you have if you face any problem while building the project just update your android studio and then it will work fine so first of all we don't need this content so we can remove this we need to create a simple recycler view and we can also move this part from here so now what we need first of all in recycler view what we have so let me show my phone screen so here you can see in recycler view it contain a single piece of text so basically how we are going to create this we have to create a model class for this where we can define which kind of items what items we need in our recycler view so let us suppose you can see this is a single item and now what content I need inside this I can let us suppose I need a title description image lots of other thing as well I just place a title here but you can place anything whatever you want so for this we need to create a model class for this first so open your render studio and just expand your package and right click here the new then click on Kotlin class file you can give any class name so I just give here details and it will going to become a data class so now after this i just need here a title where a title and the type of the title is train that's it so you can see now data class is created successfully now here you can see what we have we, this is the list of item so basically you can fetch this list from your room database from your server from anywhere you want i am just going to hard code to create this list but you can fetch this list from anywhere wherever you want so for this i can create a new class as well so it will go into object class and you i just give here student detail you can give any name and here we need to create a list so i need to create a list here so how i'm going to create this just type here val student details list and the type of this is list of you don't need to mention anything because we are going to use directly model class and inside this you can paste any text whatever you want so i just type here hello how are you you can give any name it is your choice and now you can copy paste this and you can you can add as many item in your list so if i type here i am fine how are you you can add as many item so let me just copy paste these items so So basically you can you can add as many item inside your details so here you can also add description anything whichever you want in your design so that's depend on you now this list is also created successfully this is also created successfully let me copy one more set of data here to show a big list so it is showing error just add a comma here so this is done so now open your main activity and here we need to create a design first how we want our design so for this what we need to do first of all we need to create a card because in recycle view we can see we need to in if you know how to create a recycle view in xml then you know we need to create a first of all a layout item so basically we can say we have to create a composable function here so just take an open back type here composable and 
you can give any name to your com composable function i just give here is composable card what it will going to show the data it will going to show the data of detail type so i just give the pari parameter name student and the type of the data is details now inside this what i need i need a card here this is a composable card inside this what we need we need a modifier first of all let's modify this card so you can set a padding and other thing using the with the help of modifier so modifier dot padding and you can set horizontal padding vertical padding it is your choice so i just import this 8 dp and vertical padding is also 8 dot dp this is done then you can set the fill max width so it will going to take the entire space on the screen you can set the shadow as well so i just give a shadow here elevation 2.dp then you can set the background color as well so i just set the color dot color dot light gray you can set any color it is your choice and then shape so you can set rounded corner shape it is totally dependent on you and you can see in compose it will be very easy to do these kind of things so just mention the corner radius if you want this corner radius corner size sorry and 16 dot dp so our card is created successfully now after creating the card what we need inside our card we need to we need only one item which is our text so first of all you can take a row here if you want to add more item i am not going to add more item but if you want to take more item you can add a row here and you can add a multiple item as well you can also take a column here according to your own need so modifier modifier dot height and inside this you can mention the entry size and the size is max then you can also set the padding and i am setting the padding here 20 dot dp to add a some extra space now inside this row scope i can add as many item i am just going to add a text here but you can add as many item it is your choice now it will going to take text from here so it will going to take the text from this student data object so student dot title that's it now you can set the text style it is your choice so i just take a text style here and inside this you can set the color equal color dot black i am going to use black color you can use any color and you, i am just mentioning the font size 22 dot sp okay so this card is created successfully so now this card is created successfully now we need to sh show this card in our recycler view so how we are going to do this so for this we need to create again a composable function composable and then after this one details content you can give any name to your choice and inside this in compose the recycler view is known as by lazy column or lazy row so well we need a vertical recycler view so that's why we are going to share this as a lazy column so first of all let's take the student list in our variable in a single variable so remember from where we are going to take the list so we have a student details object type and student detail dot student we can access this so now this student variable contain whole list so we just give the variable name student list now just create a lazy column and inside this we need to pass the content so first of all you can have mentioned the content padding as well it is your choice so instead of passing the content we will mention first content padding padding values and horizontal is 16.0 dp and vertical 8.0 dp you can mention any padding and after this we need to pass the data to our student card so basically we want a lazy column or student card type so for this just type the take a variable here items in compose we have already a predefined so just type here items and inside this items just pass your student list that's it and after this what you need to pass which kind of data you want to show on this where you want to show the data you want to show the data on student card so student card and pass test that's it so it is showing error just import this and after importing it is working fine so you can see this is done now just call the function wherever you want to show the recycler view so i want to show the recycler view 
here so i just call this so you can see this is so easy to create a recycler in jetpack compose so so easy so now let's run this application and see whether it is working or not and if it is working fine then we will end this video if there is some error present we will solve that error then we will end this video so our project is built successful and you can see here we are able to see the recycler view in our application so i hope guys you learn something new in this video if you have any question if you have any query just comment down below i will try to give the answer of every comment please like the video please subscribe the channel and please share the agenda thank you see you soon in next amazing video thank you